we're going to do a teaching video here on how to examine for an injured soleus muscle. So the soleus muscle actually is beneath the gastrocnemius muscle. There's, it's actually part of the tricep suri, which is uh, two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle plus the soleus muscle, and they form pretty much a common tendon that comes down here and it plays a role in plantar flexion. It attaches down at the heel. But sometimes patients who have either run up, um, been doing a lot of uphill running, will get isolated uh, uh, injuries to the soleus muscle. How do you sort that out? Because when you palpate the calf, as this patient hurts, does, uh, the whole entire calf hurts. Um, so, so here, I want to demonstrate how you isolate out the um, soleus muscle in your examination. So this patient actually has uh, a soleus muscle that's hurting her and it's inflamed. As I palpate on this, this hurts her a lot. She says, does it hurt, ma'am? Yes. Yeah, this just hurts, okay. But, but then when I tighten, tighten the gastrocnemius muscle by, by um, dorsiflexing her foot, then I palpate along there and that doesn't hurt, all right? Mm -hmm. But if I come along where the soleus muscle is, deep to the gastrocnemius, it hurts, right? Yes. She says yes, okay? And on this side too, and you're going deep to the gastrocnemius muscle and palpating the soleus muscle, and that hurts. So I'm, then I'm going to relax the I'm going to relax the gastrocnemius muscle again by letting the foot do plantar flexion. I'm going to palpate again. Now that hurts as I'm palpating there um, on the posterior leg, uh, and that's how you separate out pain in the, in the gastrocnemius muscle versus the soleus muscle. And uh, believe it or not, you can have injuries just to the soleus muscle and while the gastrocnemius muscle is not injured or is unscathed. All right, ma'am, thanks so much for letting us uh, do this video. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.